Hey guys, welcome to a code.org app lab tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to go over some of the foundational stuff of how to use code.org. And uh, just to give you guys a little bit of a preview of what we're going to create today, uh, just a simple uh, button navigation app. So here I've got some strawberries. This is screen number one. If I click on the next button, it's going to go to screen number two. And if we click on back, it'll take us back to screen one. So just some very simple things on getting started and comfortable with code.org. Let's begin. Right, uh, once you've logged in, uh, I'm gonna go back to my projects area and uh, we are creating an, an app lab actually. Uh, so I'm going to click on make an app lab here. And we're just gonna start from scratch all together. It's opening up the same project. Interesting. Okay, let me uh, log out here first. And maybe we'll log back in altogether. Um, we'll go through this right away. So I'm just going to type in my username and password. Okay, so this is your dashboard. Uh, you'll probably want to scroll down where it says App Lab down here. It's got the mobile uh, icon on it. And do we have a fresh app? Okay, great. So um, first thing I want to go over is that there are three tabs here on top. Code, design, and it's changing in orange here as you can see, and data. And we're going to focus a little bit more on code and design for this first introduction tutorial. So let's begin. Uh, under design, we can drag a number of items that we saw uh, directly onto here. So I'm going to start with the text area. And uh, I'm going to just put some text in here, screen one. And I'm also going to drag a button on here as well. And here the text is what comes up over here. So I'm going to delete this. And you can see the text changing down here as I type. So this will be next. And this will be button number one. Now. Uh, Instead of uh, calling button number one, I'll talk a little bit more about uh, a naming convention, uh, maybe in an upcoming tutorial, uh, because we do want to make sure we name our things properly. So screen number one next. Uh, and also, let's go and create a new screen. So that gives me screen number two. And if we want to go back, we can go back to screen number one. Okay. So screen number two, again, I'm just going to throw up a text area out here. And I'm going to use this as a label for screen two. Also going to drag a button on here, and I'm going to rename this as my back button. Okay, now um, let's talk a little bit about our naming convention for our identification or ID. Now, rather than calling this button two, um, once we get you know more buttons created, maybe like ten or twenty or or a hundred buttons, this is going to be really difficult for us to remember. So rather than calling it button two, I'm going to shorten this. I'm going to call it BTN for button. And I'm going to call this back. And I'm also going to add one more thing here. I'm going to add an underscore. I'm going to put two here. The two is going to help me remember that this is part of screen two. Okay, and button back uh, should be pretty obvious. So let's go back to screen number one and rename that as well. So I'm going to call this next. Uh, just uh, for us to note, uh, this by default, it's on the screen one properties. So in order for us to change our button one, we have to actually click on it. Right now we're in our button property. So again, I'm going to change this to btn uh, next underscore one for screen number one. And we may want to rename our screens a little bit differently uh, for the future, but for now I'll keep it as screen one and screen two because it'll be easiest for us to remember. Okay. Uh, next thing uh, I want to show you guys is let's get into a little bit of coding and get this working right away. So the code for this is actually very, very simple. Uh, we're going to need an on event uh, under UI controls. UI stands for user interface. Uh, it's a technical jargon that means this is how the, the user or the player might interact with our app. So user interface. Um, so here we have an on event. We have ID and click. And rather than having ID, I'm going to change this to button next one. 
Okay. I'm actually going to create another event for, and I'm going to change it to button back to. So on the event that we click on button next one, we're going to perform an operation. And likewise, on the event that we click on button back to, we're also going to perform an operation. Okay. What operation are we going to perform? It's actually at the very bottom of this list here. So I'm going to zoom down to the bottom and we're going to pull up set screen. We're going to need two of these. Okay. So on next one, we're going to set the screen or go to screen two. And when we push the back button, it's going to go back to screen one. Okay. And that's already on there as a default. Let's try that out right now. So it's a run. Okay, I'm going to click next button, screen two, click back, screen one. Perfect. So our code is working, right? Fairly simple. Okay, now uh, one more thing I want to show you guys uh, as we conclude this tutorial is how to add in images. So um, under the design interface, we're going to drag an image element on here. And uh, I'm going to upload an image actually. So I'm going to choose an image from my desktop and I'm going to upload something right now. So I've got three images right here, grapes, oranges, and strawberry. Let's throw the grapes up on here just to give a little bit more uh, color to this. So I'm going to choose that. That's what we're going to use. So there's my grape image. Okay, You can resize it by holding onto uh, the edges. You have to be a little bit careful of that. Okay, so we can resize our grapes. Let's carefully put your mouse over on the side. Okay. Um, Let's just throw this on the top, maybe. Okay, move the screen, move our label down a little bit. Okay, and let's also do the same in screen number two. So I'm going to choose my image. Okay, I'm going to upload a new image file this time. Let's put strawberries on there. Okay, so once strawberries is uploaded, we can choose that. Whoa, strawberries is really big. Okay, uh, can we shrink the size of this? Right, we'll just leave it there for now, I guess, because the strawberry image is actually too big. We might want to shrink that outside of this. Let's maybe try the oranges. Maybe it'll be a bit smaller. Okay, oranges. Right, let's choose oranges instead. And that's actually really big too. Okay, so we'll have to shrink our images uh, using an external editor. Uh, but anyways, let's just run this one more time. So in screen one, we've got our grapes. In screen two, we have our oranges. Okay, so that's the conclusion of our first app, right? We've written some computer code, just drag and drop it. And we've also looked at how we can design a simple user interface. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next tutorial.